this morning. We'll have a body of worshipers with me this morning. Come on, anybody ready to worship with me this morning? If you're ready to worship, you can come on to the front. This ain't no fire away. You are more than welcome to join us in worship, okay? Oh, 
Your name 
like finding themselves there this morning. And I'll testify of the seas that we
he's never failed to just go ahead and praise you. If he never left you, go ahead and praise you. If he never let you down, if he never kicked you out, if he never turned his back on you, then you ought to go ahead and open up your mouth and give him a prayer. I've come a long way oh, this is my And I've seen how you were And there's so much goodness and grace It's much more than I, I deserve Cause I know who I am I But I want to know if anybody in this room this morning has been through a storm in your life. I want to know if anybody in this room has had to deal with something. If that's you, I want you to get out of your pew and let the enemy know that no matter what he sent my way, no matter what people have to say, I'm still here. Come on, come on, somebody. He's not done. Yeah. 
Miss Tiffany, when I couldn't figure out that God had the final say so, then my mind would tell me that it's over. One thing, Chase, that I wish I could have known then is he ain't doing it. The Bible tells me that he is not only the author, but he's also the finisher. Look at your neighbor and say, I got another chapter to write. Come on, look at somebody and say, I got another chapter to write. My walk doesn't end here. My, de my destination is not here. The plan that God has for me does not stop here. I wish somebody would grab it this morning. He ain't done with you. I don't care if you're 18 or 80. God's saying, if you got breath inside your lungs, I'm not done with you yet. church today. And it's a spirit that tells people they are no longer needed. It's a spirit that makes people feel useless, less than, and unwanted. How many knows to feel unwanted hurts? But I've come to remind you that the enemy is alive. And we'll catch that thing back to the pits of hell where it belongs. God is letting you know it doesn't matter your skin color, your social status, or what your bank account looks like this morning. He's saying that if you are willing, if you're willing this morning, you just begin to open up and let God fill the vessel because he's saying this morning that I'm not done. The gifts have not ceased in your life. Prophecy has not ceased in your life. I'm not done with you yet.